Welcome. In this video we would like to show you how to record a dictation with the Dicta 7 premium dictation device from Grundig Business Systems. We will also explain how to play back a dictation, insert a passage into an existing dictation and delete a dictation. The Dicta 7 control elements. First we would like to show you the individual buttons and switches on the device. The buttons below the display indicate which functions are available right now. Beneath them are the up down buttons for navigation, the menu button, the OK button and the new button. On the right side of the Dicta 7 you can see the thumb button and the four step slide switch equipped with a so called touch pin. It allows you to touch stroke feel the different slide switch positions. Additionally the Dicta 7 has an adjuster screw that you can use to alter the adjustment of the slide switch and the thumb button. On default setting the thumb button is used to turn the recording function on and off. The slide switch is assigned with the functions fast forward, stop, record or with playback and rewind. However there are two more slide switch layout options. Please read the user manual for more information in this case. Recording a dictation now we would like to show you how to record a dictation. First switch on the device by pressing the menu button until the Grundig Business Systems logo appears in the display. The Dicta 7 switches over to the main screen and is now ready for use. If the slide switch is currently in another position move it now to stop. A raised touch pin lets you know immediately that the slide switch is in the stop position. Now press the new button. The device switches to record pause and the recording display flashes red. Your Dicta 7 is ready for recording. Start the recording by moving the slide switch to the record position. The recording display flashes red. Now you can speak your message. Dictation name and number appear in the display. The volume indicator shows you whether your volume level is appropriate. Because it's difficult to speak at the louder or lower volumes consistently, we recommend that you speak at your usual volume when giving dictation, holding the dictation device either closer to the mouth or farther away as necessary. The progress bar displays the current dictation position. To start with, the bar is set for 5 minutes. If you dictate for a longer period, the progress bar will change to show a 15 minute stretch. And if this time span is exceeded, the bar will again readjust automatically. To finish the recording, press either the record button or move the slide switch to the fast forward or rewind position. The recording display light goes off and the dictation length is shown continuously. Playing back a dictation. Select the chosen dictation with the up or down button. You can now listen to the dictation by moving the slide switch to the playback position. The progress depicts the full length of the dictation. Its moving marker shows you the playback position. Inserting a text passage into an existing dictation. You can insert a new passage into a dictation at any place you choose. Move the slide switch to playback to listen to the desired dictation. Move the slide switch to stop during playback when you have reached the desired position of the dictation where you want to insert a new passage. Press the insert button now. The LED display flashes orange. Now start the recording by moving the slide switch to the record position. The LED display will illuminate in orange and in the progress bar a triangle will appear as an indicator that the insert function is activated. You can now insert the desired text into the existing dictation. To end the insert function slide the switch to stop. Then press the record button or slide the slide switch into either fast forward or rewind position. Deleting a dictation. We would now like to show you how to delete a dictation. If the slide switch is currently in another position, move it to stop. Press the delete button and then OK to confirm the query. Selecting the mode you want. When you switch on your dictation device for the first time, it will be set to begin with on easy mode. The keys are programmed only with these functions which are really important for the user. Different settings will be available to you in full mode. 
To switch over to full mode, the device must be switched off first. Press the menu button and the new button at the same time until the Grundig Business System logo appears in the display. You now see a list of the profiles currently available and you can add further profiles to the list at any time. Use the up and down buttons to navigate to the desired profile and confirm your selection with the OK button. The Dicta 7 will now change over to the selected mode. To return to easy mode, first turn the device off, then switch it back on and simultaneously press the new button. Then navigate to the easy mode profile and confirm your selection with OK. The device is now once again set on easy mode. Modifications that you have made while using full mode are also retained in easy mode. Now you are familiar with some of the basic functions of the Dicta 7.